uh, my name is Rusni Nawati Hussein. I am a lecturer from communication program, uh, University San Islam Malaysia. Okay, so um, my field is more on uh, broadcasting, uh, media studies, and also um, Islamic branding. But for this time, I will concentrate uh, my study on communication technology as uh, part of uh, my field, which I want to see how effective of iPad as a tool in communication technology used in a education system in Malaysia. Okay, so we go to the uh, my first slides here. I just want to show to you um, why this study discuss about gadget, namely iPad, uh, in a education. Um, so, as I've told you, this is one of the tools in communication technology that can be used, you know, to serve internet, such as sending or receiving email, communicating on social media, and also can be used to find important information. Even the iPad itself, it can be attached to the keypad, so you can use office work. Okay, school works like a laptop. Okay, so uh, from this studies actually, uh, briefly, I can say that um, it is aligned uh, with IR 4.0 in education. Uh, it is to uh, for the learning and facilitating teaching and learning at school, you know, PDPC. Uh, it is an interactive gadget for learning. Okay, very flexible because you can take it everywhere, anywhere, and also um, very light compared to bring uh, four or five books in the bag. You just bring this one iPad to school. This is motivational gadget, motivational tool for the student, especially among Generation Z, who are very fond to the gadget, and also... It is an efficient tool for this uh, teaching and learning uh, system. Okay. Okay. Um, briefly, uh, this um, research has been done um, in qualitative um, methods. Uh, I did semi structure face to face interviews with uh, eight students. Okay. Uh, from schools, KGI, or formerly known as College Pemati Insan and Sekolah Bingan Intias, Ulut Abang Naka. Both of these schools apply or implement iPad 100% in their uh, education system. Okay, so every one of them, I mean the student, has iPad. Um, and they don't really need textbook because the textbook can be assessed in PDF file or ebook, uh, which is can store in the iPad, all right. And then uh, at the same time, I also interviewed two teachers, of uh, each from each school, in order to validate these students' um, data, these students' responses, because of uh, instead of we just, we just see you know this younger generation tell about um, the you know the. Uh, how 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 good is to use iPad in the education because they're really fond of the gadget. So we also has teacher who can validate that yes, iPad is a good tool for education. Okay, for as I mentioned just now, this iPad actually um, the use of the the usage in education really in line with IR four point zero. Okay. As what I say just now, uh, and the respondent one, a teacher from Sekolah Mingat Intias Ulalabak Melaka, she said that um, uh, use iPad in teaching and learning really helps teachers to support the government intention in implementing IR 4.0 in education. So this one, supported by one of the my key scholars, Muhammad Harry Yudanta, who also admitted that in the field of edu education, the school is all trying to provide adequate facilities to support this sophistication of science and technology to produce students who are competitive and have a high level of knowledge and skills. Okay, so um, we can see 
in order, you know, people keep saying we are in the digital world, okay, uh, we have, you know, um, a good technology. So this one needs to start from schools, okay, not when they finish the school. From the beginning, from the young, they need to be exposed to what they should be explored later when they finish school. Okay, in PDPC, which is, um, it helps the teachers and also the students in learning and facilitating. Um, one of the teachers says that um, nowadays teacher's role is more as a facilitator. Okay, the other one said teacher as a supervisor. Because why? Uh, teacher nowadays is don't need to be like a traditional teacher where they just in, uh, stand in front of the class, uh, give a lecture, and then read from books or ask the students to stand up and read also from the book and then come out and write something, the summary on the blackboard. So it's no longer like that because with this kind of technology, uh, the, in, the, the learning process can be more interactive. Okay, just use the iPad. Instead, teacher no need to be in front of the students. The, 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 the learning process still can be run as usual, okay? And then uh, we can see that uh, find, uh, next finding is about how this iPad is very interactive, okay? Um, okay, uh, my, uh, from my literature review, um, it says that iPad is a device that facilitates teaching and learning, such as attracting students to focus on learning, facilitating learning itself among students such as for information retrieval, making learning more interactive and effective and facilitating teachers teaching skills with the help of the iPad. Okay, this is supported by one uh, of my respondent, respondent one, a teacher. She actually teach history. Okay, according to her, with gadget as a teaching aid, it can improve the weaknesses in teaching history subject. Learning histories become more interactive with application provided in the iPad, where actually iPad, uh, the, the app such as my, my Mister can do uh, my mapping notes, uh, Canva, student can come up with a poster or designs uh, in order to, to visualize what they learn from the, uh, the subject's history. Okay, the keynote, they can do a presentation such as a PowerPoint, iMovie if they want to do a role play to, to record a video, and also a sketchbook those who like drawing. Okay, this all can be utilized in their learning process. So make the, uh, the, the learning process more interactive. Okay, and then um, iPad is a flexible in terms of space and location where actually the process of learning is not necessarily happen in the class. And the characteristic of the iPad itself, which is lighter, portable and practical, make it as a gadget that also trains students to be independent in their study. So this is also supported by my, the teacher from the KGI who says that he sometimes needs to go to the courses, to the meeting, to the conference, but at the same time, the class needs to go on as usual. Okay, or else student will be uh, lost because of no teachers in the class, they will do or they will play whatever they want. Okay, but with this kind of technology or the blended learning uh, system, teachers still can go to other event, meeting, conference, uh, courses, whatsoever, and the class at the same time can run as usual because they have like a Google Classroom, um, Flip Classroom. Okay. Teachers still can assign the assignment due using this medium and uh, student can receive it and will do it independently. Okay, if they don't understand, they still can ask teacher using iMessage, WhatsApp, Telegram, even in the Google Classroom, they have a chat room, okay, to ask the teachers. So there is, orang kata, not, not, a, not a problem anymore, okay. Everything can be done well, using uh, just by your fingertips, all right? So it's not a big matter at all. Uh, when one party cannot come to the class, 
the 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 learning still can proceed as usual. Right. Another thing is that I found out that this gadget is a motivation for the student to study. Okay, so as I mentioned just now, they are Generation Z, they're really fond of the gadget. With this kind of uh, gadget, they can explore the um, the, the apps yeah, in, the, in, the, in the iPad so that they can make their study more intuitive. Okay, like just what I mentioned just now for history subject. Okay, if teacher assign them an assignment or task, they can do a discussion among the, among their friends and then they do presentation very interactively uh, using these apps. Okay, like these students said, okay, they use these uh, apps called Elevate. Elevate is a brain uh, training uh, in order to stimulate the brain, uh, especially for the English and mathematics. So why not? It is good for him before he start like a warm up, before he start uh, his learning process for that day, he do that kind of mini games in order to stimulate, uh, to do a warm up exercise of the brain, something like that. So um, really, really motivate them to study, to go to the school, you know, to feel that to learn today is a uh, very interactive, very interesting, okay? And then this iPad also can encourage students to engage in connective and effective learning with positive behavior throughout the learning period. According to the teachers, okay, teacher one say uh, effective and efficient to teach new millennial students who are ICT provision, okay, because they are very fond of the gadget. So the learning process become easier, okay. And then the respondent two say uh, students become more creative in answering questions using devices. Okay, because of the online application, okay, they create something. They, 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 they can become more creative. You know, they can make what they study interesting or interactively. It's all up to the students. The, the teachers just become the facilitator or the supervisor. Okay, so, um, so they themselves, the student, make their learning process uh, fun for them to be in class. Okay. So, um, so uh, based on the previous study also, researchers have found that students' active particip participation in online learning using gadgets such as discussion, this contributes significantly to the students' final result and indirectly this face-to-face -face discussion have a positive impact on students' performance. Okay, so yes, students said that um, using iPad, uh, their academic has uh, academic performance has improved. Okay, uh, so some of them say even though um, uh, other subject they don't really you know see whether improve or not, but for language it does helps a lot. Okay, because it is also uh, proven by the second respondent who a teacher in Arabic language. So he did lots of exercise and activity with the students. Even students also do presentation using garage band where they create music like a nasheed, okay, in order to present their assignment. So this is, um, you know, uh, very good for the student to be more creative, okay, more innovative, okay. Instead, the respondent number five, a student also said that um, iPad helped him in improving his academic performance uh, where when he compared his results before using iPad and after he found out that iPad give him space, you know, to, to explore, which made him more independent and critical because the activities given by the teacher were considered as thoughts or okay, k right? So um, this is also uh, validated by the teacher, okay? He said that uh, in academic uh, performance, he can see that there are three categories. The first category, student who really uh, getting better compared to the traditional way of studies. Uh, so when using iPad, he get, uh, he, his performance uh, improve more better. And then the second category where actually in assignment, students are very, very um, happy to do 
the assignment you know instead before when teacher give them homework assignment they don't even submit they did not do the assignment because they feel bored whatsoever but when ipad was introduced so they they have no problem to submit or complete all the tasks given and the third category is uh, whether the students have fun on the end of class so he said that there is no longer sleepy faces in the class he said that he has uh, no problem nowadays to uh, to one student who talk in his class uh, talk to his or her friends during his lectures so he really really can see that this ipad is very effective uh, in teaching and learning as a aid um, for the uh, education okay and ipad also can be an efficient medium of communication between teachers and students in delivery knowledge assignments and information okay so i think that's all uh, my presentations on my um, research or study so do uh, message me or do you know uh, if you have a questions i i also have the email on my slides you can also email me uh, if you have further questions on this study okay thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh